episode of Frostborn Co-op Survival. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and I'm hype as can be to be back in this magnificent survival game that a lot of y'all seem to be hyped for as well. And nothing gets me more excited than when those of us are excited to get into some shenanigans. So today we returned last we left off. We began our adventure. We started rebuilding our village and building up our own base as well. Two distinct areas, by the way. And today that journey is going to continue on a little bit of both sides so we need to build campfire in the camp let's go and get to that this is going to be incredible for cooking us some food all that i gotta find is a rock rocky where art thou rocky my good sir and or i'll just go and chop down one of these things honestly this is a little bit more convenient oh and over there by the way in the top right hand corner y'all can see our little friend who hauls the supplies between our base and our village and uh we actually have all of the supplies necessary to build the tax collector which oh if all goes according to plan bro we gonna start making some money 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 Hard to go wrong with that, but let's go on and, uh, whatchamacallit, build up this campfire and continue with the quest line that we are presented. We are still in chapter one, but we are quickly progressing and actually on the brink of finishing chapter one. After this campfire and a woodworking table, bada bang, bada boom, we're gonna be good to go. So let's go and whip up a uh, campfire after I get rid of some stuff in my inventory because it's looking a little bit on the full side. So beep, bop, boop. I'll put some of the chains up into there and Mr. Campfire, say hello to my base. We'll go ahead and toss the campfire, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's go to the furniture side of things. Uh, I can't put it on my floor. Probably reasonable. That is a wooden house. That is how you burn down houses. That reminds me of Night of the Dead and how I burned down my house with a flamethrower return. We're not gonna reminisce on that though. Dark times, dark times. Uh, we gotta go and build the tax collector's house, which we already have all the supplies necessary for and make a woodworking table. So do we, can we, can we make this woodworking table? Yeah, this actually should not be too hard. I'll go and chop down a tree. And honestly, I think whipping down some one of these iron ore things that should get us three of the iron ore that we require. Also this entire time we continue leveling up. We are currently at level five. I imagine we'll get a few levels today because in one episode we went from one to five. Dude, I be surprised if we hit double digits today now also what i want to try and find is i need like one more piece of wood dog hello wood aren't thou anywhere at my base woody 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 don't tell me i'm gonna have to go out and find some wood brother that'd be upsetting i'm literally one piece of wood away I'm upset. And I'm also starting to get a little bit hungry, so let's make sure that we are picking up all oh, some of the stuff that I do not have inventory room for. I should be able to go and eat this. This is already well done leg meat. This is cooked, so if we eat that, we're good to go. That will restore our hunger, hydration, and health by a little bit. We do have some bones left over here. Sorry, bones, but I'm gonna go ahead and it toss. Yeah, those are like the tin cans of Frostborn, so to speak, relative to uh, last day on Earth. Oh, let's go, baby. There we go. There we go. Y'all love to freaking see it. And I'm just gonna go and chow down on the rest of these berries over here. I know that we could save these berries and technically use them as healing items, but it's not hard to find berries. And if, if it is, then I I don't want to live in this world anymore. Hard to find berries? What? Oh, yeah, I used three logs to build the camp. No, I thought I... Oh, I got to chop down a tree. Miscalculation. Honestly, though, I will take this opportunity to go ahead and stash some of our not-so-necessary stuff over here. What is that? Is that just the rock? That th That is limestone, yes. Uh, just to stash a few things over there into our small chest. And also, really quickly check the basement because I might have something hidden into there. But yeah, y'all, it is seriously awesome to be hopping into Frostborn over here. And I am starting to fall in love with it a little bit. And it definitely has last day on Earth beat in some regards, which is... Uh, it it's, it's tough to say that because y'all know me. I'm um, forget I love last day on earth it's like the perfect mix of survival just mobility and just the setting with guns and zombies that checks so many boxes for me but lately last day on has been a little bit slacking in a few departments like adding in permanent content and consistent updates and Frostborn has that freaking nailed to a T on top of the fact that this one this game has been built from the ground up with multiplayer in mind and let's go ahead and yay, get ourselves a woodworking table and then i will uh, I, i'm gonna need to process some wood i left my wood downstairs that's okay well i should have probably brought a little bit to start processing some stuff that that's all right but i do love that basement by the way seriously that basement is cool because if i am not mistaken i'm pretty sure the thing about Frostborn, and let me just go and pop down in here really quickly, is that we do need to worry about our base getting raided. And this is an awesome thing, but also a scary thing. And again, something that does have it kind of like beating Last Day on Earth in some regards and being just a better game is that it literally has real 
PvP. It has player versus player interactions. If you are playing across the board, you have the capability of being raided in real time by other players. It's not like Last Day on Earth, where you raid someone's base and they just so conveniently never happen to be home in the probably thousand raids I've done in Last Day on Earth so far. I've ravaged so many people's homes and they've never been home to witness it. I do not believe that to be the case in uh, this iteration of a survival game by Last Day on Earth developers, Kafir. And we'll go ahead and just start processing that stuff over there. Let's go and build this tax collector's house over at our district, our village that we are trying to bring to fruition. So let's beep bop boop our way out of there. Also, I'm naked as can be, dude. I should probably whip me up a little bit of clothes. I will get to work on that. But that is definitely just the part where I would say Frostborn is better. Now, don't get me wrong. This might backfire terribly and I might get raided and lose some stuff. But that's why I like that basement area. I think that basement is safe from raids. So whatever we stash in the basement, we do not need to worry about, which is definitely a little bit of a relief. I might be wrong on that, but I think that's how, that's how, like, when I played Frostborn back in the day, they actually, they didn't have an entire basement you could go into. They had like a little basement item that you would craft and it was like a small storage chest that you could store stuff into. But now I think they have actually like expanded the amount of stuff that you can store into your basement and actually made it a room you can enter in and even expand, which is really cool. And that guy wants me to talk to him. Dude, we got quests from multiple people here. Oh baby. Well, first things first, let's get this tax collector built over here which is going to allow us to collect taxes from the residents and the guests and act two has begun. Oh, and we can build up the trader too. Let's go. I'm gonna be able to start trading. Oh, and we can go ahead and start clearing out some construction slots too. Like dude, it's hard not to love this ability to literally build up our base, man. You gotta admit that's so cool. And hold up, I can build a bank? Oh, I do not have the resources necessary for the bank. All right, well, that's the next thing that we are going to be building. But if you'll excuse me, dude, we got some new buildings and stuff here to get to. What up, trader? Oh, okie dokie. So, 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 so. He's got some lingonberry juice for sale. Isn't that freaking PewDiePie's G Fuel flavor? I'm not sure, but this costs those silver little coins. And I think those silver coins are actually taxable. So, the, dude, that's another thing. There's literally an economy system. Like, I can literally do I get... Look at that. I'm getting money. Literally, my village is producing goods. That's such a cool feeling. And I imagine the more that we upgrade the tax collector, the more money we're going to be making too. But, dude, that's sick. What's up? I got to reach level 7 before he'll talk to me. Bro, I built your house. Talk to me earlier, all right? Otherwise, I'm going to tear your house down. I'm going to kick you out. I am the Yarl of this village. Hello, craftsman. I can't even talk to you until level 17. You guys suck, man. I, I build your homes, and this is my repayment. Like, come back later. Like, please leave message after the beep. Beep. And there's no message and the horse vendor i still got to build a stable for that fella but there we have some of the improvements that we have had over here at home hey yarl how's it going not too bad dude how are you doing how's everyone out there doing hopefully everyone is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that does only keep on getting better from here on out whether that be from the video bringing you a smile bringing you a giggle anything or everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today i'm just crossing my fingers that indeedly do that's exactly what the joy do do whether it be from the shenanigans we get into in today's well continuation of frostborn or just the epic feelings of the progress that that we are doing or something in, in real life like maybe you witnessed your I, like i don't know maybe you witnessed someone slip on a banana peel and you're like lol you know like i don't care how a little bit of joy can be spread your way i'm just crossing my fingers that it does go your way and that hopefully you can pay that joy forward a little bit as well whether that be to your friends to your fam to a random passerby in the street doesn't matter to me just to hopefully there's some joy coming your way i'm always crossing my fingers for that because nothing makes me more joyful than knowing that hopefully i could help brighten up someone else's day because that's literally i i always say this but that is what got me into youtube originally back when i would like watch like youtube videos like for hours on end when i was in middle school when <laughs> i had free time I miss those days. I got a job now. Nine to five, baby. Holy guacamole. Speaking of that, dude, the weekend hits different. Hopefully, everyone's been having an awesome weekend as well. And I got to actually craft ourselves up a bit to the small chest, too. But hopefully, everyone has been having an awesome weekend as well. I got to get uh, some rope. So, one second. I will actually grab some of that. I will... Uh I'll keep processing a little bit, but I'll grab some of that with us. Uh, we needed rope. I will grab some of the rope over there. Rope-a-dope-a-dope-a-dope. -a -dope -a -dope. And we need 
some plant fiber. I should just be able to pick that up. But hopefully everyone's having an awesome weekend, a break from the shenanigans of the week, whether that be from school or from work or from whatever you got going on. Hopefully you got a nice relaxing weekend filled with fun. And I can, I can definitely relate to that, man, because I love my job. I love what I do. If y'all don't know, I am like a software developer. No, I don't work on video games as fun as that would be. But I am a software developer after going to freaking college for like the past four years of my life, which has been like documented well throughout my freaking YouTube shenanigans. Like it's been, it's been a journey. And thank you to all of y'all who have been a part of it and or maybe joining the journey because wowzers it has been a big one to say the least let's go ahead and put that puppy down to expand our storage room just a little bit and now we need to craft a spear that should not be too hard buddy i just need to get a little bit of the stone look at that i got two stone ready to go i am knocking out quests bing bang bow what can i say i am the quest expert out in here now i gotta go to Baldur's cliff so oh, that sounds spooky We'll see what that's all about. That might be one of those fabled PvP locations, which kind of tying back to what I was talking about, how Frostborn kind of does have last day on Earth beat in some regards, is that Frostborn was built from the ground up with multiplayer and co-op in mind, which is why I am so excited to get some co-op shenanigans going, by the way. I do think I'm going to try to team up with some uh, <clears throat> with some YouTubers and hopefully make some awesome content for the all -Zero. Could you imagine like a YouTube clan, a YouTube family? Because... We can literally build all of our bases by each other, up to four people. That could be insane, brother, and make for some really, really fun times. But I also want to make sure that I give him everything that he needs. So he's going to need some stone and some wood and also a single plank, which we do actually have processing over here. So all that I know is that when we head out on our adventure, we got to chop down some trees, uh, get some stone. I mean, I got some band-aids. I got some of that, and I'm kind of tempted can I craft some clothes? I don't uh, don't really have a lot of uh, rope at the moment, so I will I will continue to be a naked man on a naked adventure to nakedness. I mean, it's hard to go wrong, y'all. This is where our roots of last day on Earth lie, and I always used to be the man with no pantalones or with just pantalones. You know, that was really that was that was my shindig, and it continues to be. Anyways, the Baldur's Cliff. We go. Let's the forest of whispers. That is the giant's forest. This is the Baldur's Cliff with no PVP. Now that does change. I do believe PVP yeah, does start to become a worry, like over there, for example, and over there so if you do come across people you may very well have to uh i don't know why i just went back into my camp i got distracted by the awesomeness and just trying to think of frostborn uh but no you may actually need to encounter people in some of these normal zones and that is why frostborn is such an interesting game that was developed from the ground up with a lot of the stuff it was like last day on earth has its multiplayer and single player stuff split off into two completely areas that are being developed completely separate and the multiplayer does leave a lot to be desired. It is progressing kind of cool, but not like Frostborn, where these concepts have been tied together. And even if you're doing like a location without PvP, you know, if you're going like to do the Sanctum of Oda, which is kind of like the bunker alpha of Frostborn, you can literally do that with your friends. You, you, you can tackle all of these things in groups of up to four. That is where the co-op part comes into play. And that is just such a cool part, man. So definitely... Frostborn does have a lot of cool features like that. I don't get me wrong. I do wish Frostborn was set with zombies and guns and stuff like that. Because like I said, I am a sucker for that setting and that theme. And unfortunately, Frostborn is for the most part more melee centric, which definitely still it can be fun. And there is stuff like spells and whatnot that does allow and like bows, which do allow for more ranged combat. But at its core, you don't have the guns. And I, I like the guns and the zombies and the survival aspects of that. But speaking of guns, dude, the last hour developers have actually teased a new a game, a kind of like Cyberpunk. You guys know Cyberpunk 2077 uh, coming out? That kind of like console slash PC game that people have been hyping up for flipping ever. Uh, you know what's crazy about that? Is that they have like a survival game coming out that is going to... What? The game servers reboot in 10 minutes? That is shenanigans. Why would you ever do such a thing? This is ridiculous. I am so upset right now. Wow. That is upsetting. Well, I gotta go and kill some enemies anyway. Oh, look at that. We got someone chilling over here. Look at that, man. We're literally just coming across someone. Hey, this is mine. No, no, no. You can't fight me here, dog. This is a single player location. Gimme, give gimme. Give ha ha. He can't do nothing. Because this is not a single player location, but it's a PvE location. So you ain't going to do jack diddly squat. But, uh, okay, well, he's gonna go and try to fight that dude straight up. No! Dude, I was trying to sneak attack these people. You're the worst. 
Why would you do this? Are we not gonna fight them? Come on, are we gonna fight? Dude, what's up? What's Are we gonna fight? I kind of... Okay, well, hello. Oh, he's trying to say hi. Dude, we gotta fight these guys. Hello? Hello? We need to go to battle. Use my ability! Ho <laughs> ho! That's the power of the special ability! I saved your life, comrade! I saved your life! You did not battle! And I did. And uh, I now need to go and open some chests. But he appears to be typing. Oh, big fan! Woo! I saved the big fan! Heck yeah! Hello! Well, you almost got me killed, but I can forgive you because I saved your life. Anyways, we did take a little bit of damage from that because uh, we had to solo those three enemies that we did not even get an opportunity to sneak attack because this fella decided to uh, sabotage us and or he was just a little bit excited. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to project what he may or may not have done, but it definitely was not handled in the smoothest of regards. That is for sure. Dude, this man has got to heal up. Like, I'm not sure he realizes he has a sliver of health. If an enemy attacks him, he he will die a very painful death. Dude, don't even tell me that he's about to... No, no, no. Player, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Why would you do that? What? I mean, thank you. But what? I am so confused. Why on earth? What did he do? What he just did? I... 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 Like... What? What? I am... I am so confused. I will get rid of this. I will pick that up. That is a nice hat. I don't have a hat. I will pick it up. Look at me. I am hat man. Oh my god. And who is that? Is that an another person? Dude, what is it with you guys and like getting into battles that you, you, you can't stomach? Well, there goes my hat. And he's trying to loot my buddy over there. How could you? How could you? I looted him first, you doofus. Oh. Hello. Hello, my friend. Hello. How does it feel to be- Hey, don't loot my wolf! I kind of wish this was a PvP location so I could MURDER ALL THESE PEOPLE! Ah! Luckily, that guy will take the blame because it'll look like he took, took all of the stuff over there. Shh! Don't tell anyone we looted that guy. Guy, if you're watching this, I'm very sorry. But thank you for the shielded stuff. Appreciate it, mate. <laughs> Alrighty. We got a dead body over here. I still gotta try and find one more chest. I mean, we do have some pretty solid stuff over here. And oh! I mean, there is a chest here. It uh, might be looted. It is uh, looted, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. I got the points for opening it. Man, that is the thing about these locations. You do potentially have to share them with the people. But my inventory is full. What? I mean, I got the pickaxe over here. Uh, do I have like... Oh, I got another secondary slot. Let's go. I'll put that up in the secondary slot right over there. Let's get the chop. And please tell me this is enough pickaxe to finish this mine. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby. I'll take that. And our shenanigans here are done for now. The smelter is completed. Let's go ahead, pop out, and make our way back to the camp. Ba -ba -da -ba -da! And build ourselves up a bit of a smelter. But yeah, dude, I do really... I feel bad that I ended up taking that guy's stuff. But it is also, like, at the same time, there were other people. And honestly, that other guy was literally going to take his stuff. So, I, I don't know, man. It's just the Wild West out there in these zones. Even if it's not PvP, there's still savagery going on. You can't trust anyone if you die. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was trying to... I mean, that guy was really doing a bad job of staying alive. You know? Like, I just, stay alive, stay alive, huh? Ah, ah. He was not doing that because he literally had like two health and he decided he was prepared to get into combat I don't know how to break this to you Sonny Jimbo. You probably want to heal up at that point. Please leave a message after the beep Beep. Anyways, let's get this smelter built on up that we were acquiring. I got to get some of those planks Ooh, hoo, hoo, Good thing. I'm processing them as we speak. I mean, I am short a few of them So we might need to wait in order to complete the smelter, but we can take this opportunity to go over here to our body and start giving him the one plank he requires. And then what what does the smelter take? It a uh, lot of stone, a little bit more iron ore, so we might just want to go out on another quick adventure. This time maybe with more pickaxes and stuff, that might be a good idea. And for now, I do still feel comfortable. Like, uh, I, I can't put that back in there. I wish I could, that'd just be convenient. Uh, we just need to be a little bit cautious, a little bit careful here. Because uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need to be super careful. Because we don't have to worry about getting raided and looted yet. In the future, we do. But so far, I don't think the raids and attacks are going to begin 
quite yet. Let's go and craft ourselves up another hatchet and another pickaxe. And we will go out, collect some iron ore, collect some wood, and a few other things like that. Very good, very good. Very nice, very nice, high five. But this game server reboot is kind of annoying, so we might want to wait for that to happen. So why don't we take this opportunity before these servers reboot? Uh, let's head up. Well, I can't even finish this if I wanted to. I don't have enough materials. I will go ahead and give you some of them, I guess, but I'm going to be chopping down and breaking down quite a few things. Hey, yo, let's go to another zone. Hopefully, if the servers reboot in the middle of us being in a zone, nothing bad happens because I kind of feel like maybe uh, something bad might happen, but hopefully nothing bad happens. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's go back to... I kind of like this location. We run over there. Oh, we could auto-complete it. I don't want to, but we could, but... Yeah, back to what Frostborn does do better. Like, it seriously does do a few of these aspects a lot better. And I wish we had them in Hello in events. I'm gonna go to the event. Please leave a message after the beep. I have still a few sword durability. I do have the sword and shield that we could use. That's actually a better weapon. But, dude, I'm actually, now that I bring it up, I'm excited, dude. This is our first location or first event. We might be able to come across some pretty nifty things. Now, other people may appear to this event as well, so we might want to be a little bit careful. We just uh, unlock some more of the map as well, which is definitely cool. As we do explore, we unearth more of it. But uh, what is going on? What is going on? We got enemies here, right? So we're going to want to get sneaky deaky with them, obviously, because the sneaky deaky attacks are much better than the normal attacks. Oh, these appear to be some wolves. Luckily, this sword is perfect for the one hitter quitter to go ahead and take them down. And we want to collect all the loot we possibly can because everything is going to be helpful in us progressing our base and progressing our pro progress. Because, like, we're at such an early point in the game where literally everything these enemies drop are likely to help us. And, dude, look at all these chests. Wowzers! This is going to be a lot of loot, isn't it? And there's also some X's already on the map, which has me a little bit worried. The game servers are going to be rebooted in two minutes. Bro, no way. They're going to be rebooted in the middle of us looting this loot-tastic place? Game, how are you going to summon so much beautiful loot and then reset the game? This better still be here when the servers reset, brother. Otherwise, I'll be big mad because oh, I'm big happy with the stuff that I'm seeing so far. So let's go and try to, like, uh, knock out these chests one by one, I'm also making sure, guys, if you have not noticed, top right-hand corner, there's the radar. The radar is an awesome way of keeping track of all of these things. I probably brought too many things here, but we should be able to revisit, if anything, which should be okay. Because, dude, this reminds me of the freaking crashed plane event from Last Day on Earth. That's the vibes that... Oh, dude, big time. Big time. That's the vibes I'm getting. Let's go. I will take some clothes every day of the week, brother. Uh, so, yeah, we are definitely going to want to return at some point. Look at this. The bird scout scouts the surroundings. That's really good if you want to, like, watch out for potential PvP stuff. Uh, dang, dude. Like, we got someone with that. Water flasks? Yeah, dude. I will uh, drink that up and pick up some of the valuables. This uncommon stuff? I like that. This? I eat that. Server resetting in a minute. Um... So that's not good. We're definitely gonna... Oh my god, look at all these chests, dude. We are gonna need to make a second trip over here. Otherwise, like, there's no way, Jose, we are collecting everything. And that's upsetting because I'd love to collect everything. Luckily, it does not look like other people are gonna be appearing at this, which is good that it might be a private event. Hey, just for us, we got, we're getting the VIP treatment up in here, bro. If you love to say it. You love to say it. You beast bloody beautiful, I tell you what. Hello, dead person. Don't mind me. Just taking your stuff. You got any pants? I'm in need of some pantalones. So please help a brother out. He did not have any pants. You hate to see it. These gems, I believe, will come in handy those soul stones they will let's continue trying to get whatever we can because the game servers are going to reboot in 20 seconds and i guess this is a great learning experience to learn what happens when the game servers reboot because i got no idea i don't know what's about to happen but something's about to happen uh so we already looted that place up uh yeah i'll just try to open up a few more of these chests and this looks like the last few chests up here to the north i mean still like a lot of loot like definitely we're gonna need a second trip ideally with, uh, they're gonna reset here in a few seconds. Luckily, I might be able to, ah, take everything that I can. No nope, free inventory slots in the game servers are rebooting. I, I, I don't know what that means. Oh, I have disappeared. Goodbye. I have reappeared, maybe. This all that happens just kind of like kicks you out of the map you're in? All right, good news, everyone. All it was just down for a few minutes, and now we're back. 
Oh, that's an army camp location. Can't wait to go to that someday, maybe, if the battle cart's actually craftable. Uh, so we gotta take this opportunity. We gotta go back home. And we gotta drop some stuff off into that chest that we just so happened to conveniently craft right about now. Hopefully, we have enough energy. Actually, is energy a thing? I... Can we run around all that we want in Frostborn? Because I've been doing this running shindig and like, I don't see an energy meter. I, I don't see something that would be preventing us from being able to run so much. Like it just says run. It doesn't say, oh, you need a certain amount of energy. It just says run, run for your life. Run like it depends on it. Like, no, there's nothing like that. It just, it's just like run. So I kind of like that. Anyways, I'm going to strip naked and put everything that I can away. Probably just continue bringing my sword and just try to empty out our inventory so ideally we can grab absolutely everything that is possible. That is what we all ideally going for. Sorry, chest did not mean to try and chop you into teensy teensy bitty pieces. That would be a little bit savage. Oh, just did it again. I keep trying to press the wrong button to go and do the thing. Uh, I will literally, yeah, I'm just putting everything away. I'm even going to be putting away some of this stuff. Hopefully this doesn't horrifically backfire and I have to like fight a boss at the end of it all. That'd be really bad. That would actually be awful. But naked man with almost broken sword adventures continues. Da, 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 da. And uh, oh, that should give us an opportunity for our pine planks to actually get all nice and worked up, which will be good. And then I do need to go and get myself a little bit of wood as well. Let's go to make our way back to the carnage. Also, ooh, we can start participating in a tournament. Killing monsters and collecting resources, and we will get a reward at the end of it all. I don't want to start participating in that yet, but I think next episode we will get some tournament shenanigans going and seeing what that is like. Here we could potentially, should we want, claim all of these rewards for each of these things, which I am honestly a little bit tempted to do. Yeah, it's going to get to claim it a little bit, shall we? Look at all that beautiful stuff we are getting. Now, if we do get the premium pass, we could be getting these second items as well. And that might be something that I do down the line. But for now, we are still making a very steady progress. And the reason that I might get it down the line is because I do just want to like show off all that there is. I kind of talked about this a little bit in the last episode and just kind of give you all a feel for things and uh, see if it's worth it, you know? And ooh, we got some carrots. We got some wood over there. Baldur's Cliff. Oh, a blue bow. If we get it from that, that actually is the first very promising thing I've seen. And we're almost done with level two here actually we just got a i don't have any free slots in the inventory oh no this went in my inventory no well that's unfortunate <laughs> i thought it'd go to my inbox i didn't think that all gets sent to my inventory well don't mind me walk of shame back home i gotta i gotta stash some stuff away lol rip dude rip Ooh, what is that oh no way i can actually equip different classes so i will equip equip the berserk class what info is that ranged weapon inflicts 20 percent less damage to you and i pick up a few skills the whirl attack and rage oh that's kind of sick that's kind of sick so we can actually actively pick our classes and stuff like that and we did just get a little bit of an upgrade and then to get to the protector there are so oh there are certain things you need to complete first interesting that's kind of interesting the way that that system works. Intriguing to say the least, but anyways, yeah, back to what I was saying with, the, I was saying like five different things, dude. My trains of thoughts are all over the place. Oh, what is that? I need a heavy melee weapon. Okay, so I don't have a Haley, Haley, a heavy melee weapon. So I should probably, let's go back to the warrior here. We'll stick with the warrior for now, for now. Oh, it actually takes a little bit of time for it to change by the looks of it. Interesting, interesting. I wonder, oh, and you can probably change it in the middle of combat too. So you can kind of like pick your role depending on the situation. That's kind of really cool. Anyways, I digress. We're gonna take this opportunity here to see if there's anything we can stack, put all the stackables, get stacked. We pop over here. We take this opportunity to put away some of the things. No, not take all, I meant to put all. That is unfortunate mistake. We continue putting away, putting away, putting away, put all. And let's go into our basement where we can probably put the rest of that stuff away. But ultimately, as we do level up, and I think as we kind of start becoming vulnerable towards those PvP raids, which are very exciting. Uh, it's also very scary. Uh, this downwards area is going to be kind of like our safe place from that. Now, the question is, can we build down? Like, how does, how does this work? How, like, it says that we can expand it with the steel pickaxe. But like, can we actually build down here? It doesn't seem like we can build down here, but maybe as we expand, that's a thing regardless we're gonna need the steel pickaxe and uh that does not come for 
I have not even seen it yet from all the scrolling. Steel Pickaxe, where are you? Steel Pickaxe, wows is level 96. District level 96, so that's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a little bit, but uh, it will allow us to expand this. But in the meantime, this is gonna be kind of like our go-to chest where whatever we put into here is going to be, I believe, safe from getting broken into. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to expand more, dude. That's really exciting though with the steel pickaxe, being able to expand our basement. That is just, I don't know, that, that's an exciting idea. I'd love to be able to have this like second floor. And that's just another cool thing too, that they do have like literally a second floor built into the game compared to last day on it. That's something I've wanted for quite a while, whether it be a basement or the ability to actually build a second floor. Those are all things I would absolutely love to witness, you know? And we do also have a little bit of stone and a little bit of wood. So I'll take this opportunity to go and fill up that cart. So when we make our way back to the district, it will have some more levels to go. Hard to go wrong with that. Beep, bop, boop, beep, bop, boop. Those two things are uh, very good. And yeah, but seriously, those PVP raids are going to be exciting. I'm, I am a little bit terrified of them, but it's, it's just cool to have that feature be there in the first place, man. And I don't know, just Frostborn has so many possibilities and opportunities. The last day on Earth doesn't have it. Genuinely, it hasn't beat in some of these regards like just the fact that it was built from the ground up with multiplayer in mind is so just so unique compared to what it would otherwise you know be like and let's go back to this carnage we want to grab everything we possibly can from there but yeah it's just like so unique compared to what it would be like the fact that we have this village and district we're building up like it just got so many cool things like that that i wish last day on earth had and last day on earth is multiplayer and single player split up like you can't do single player locations with your buddies and easily single player locations are more interesting more loot worthy and all that stuff compared to multiplayer locations like frostborn does have some of these things oh what the enemies respond dude i wonder if all the loot respawned because of the server reset that'd be interesting i uh, would kind of be a fan of that are you telling me we're about to get a whole ton of stuff again no way. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. Dude, Jose, don't be lying to me, brother. Let's go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Dude, that is perfect timing. I've never been stoked about a server reset until today. We are going to have a smorgasbord of loot. Now, the question becomes, how are we going to protect it from raids? Like, I don't think we're vulnerable to raids yet. We got to get to level 10. So we still got a little bit of protection before the bad things start happening. But I think we got to start kind of keeping that in mind, you know? Got to start being mindful of it. Something along those regards. Goodbye to the droggers. Don't want to be seeing you around these parts. Shoo, shoo. I don't want to see you around my base. And this time we did come with a fully empty inventory. Fully naked. Extra pocket. All that jazz. Ready to go. So ideally, we'll have a lot of room to play. But yeah, man. Long story short, as much as I love the zombie survival of Last Day on Earth, Frostborn genuinely has Last Day on Earth beat in some of these regards. Plus the fact it gets consistent upgrades, up updates with permanent content, it's very promising. And speaking of very promising, another thing that is promising is that Cyberpunk, that futuristic survival game that Last Day on Earth developers have actually teased over on their YouTube. And I am very excited to actually hop into that one as well when that does come out i think that one is slated to be coming out this year as well and hopefully that one is similar to frostborn and that it's built multiplayer with multiplayer in mind you know from the ground up from the beginning that would be incredibly promising because that one actually has guns and stuff and ranged weapons and well it's futuristic dude and yo a battle axe that might be the heavy weapon we need for that class i was talking about dude things are coming up mill house life is looking good and it's looking promising just both in frostborn and in some of those games that i was talking about that are uh, coming as well because seriously that futuristic one looks so cool if y'all have not had a chance to look for it you could try to look it up go to like the last day on earth like youtube page i think it's called like a cyber ica Cy cyberica it's like cyber and then ika it has a very weird name but it seriously from the trailer looks so freaking cool and dude no way brother no way look at this stuff we're coming across mate this is bloody unbelievable i might need to get rid of some of the crud and make room for some of the good some of the good stuff some of the really good stuff over here like weapons and whatnot so like i'm sorry rope i can just murder something i can just murder and get you pretty easily whereas some of this other stuff is a little bit harder to come across i will eat that meat baby give me that meat and uh, put away the bones and then i'll probably put uh one of these weapons in our secondary slot that sword's about to break so maybe if i need more inventory room i can just like ditch the sword because like there's still a lot of chests we got to break into and i imagine 
We're not going to be able to take everything with us in one fell swoop. And hello, Dragothrall. Good boy to you, kind sir. Uh, yeah, as much as I'd love to like, pick up some of this stuff, I'm going to focus on the loot that this location has. That's where the money maker is going to be, baby, baby. Yeah, I think we have reached like the end of all the loot. Unless for some reason there are some boxes hidden up here in the north. But it looks like there might just be like a few enemies scattered about. It doesn't look like they're protecting anything. Which is all right. If y'all don't want to protect nothing, leave it be. Less work for me. And all right, let's go and get a few more kills. And by the way, dude, these are some easy peasy kills too. Just sneak attacks. Oh no, I have my fists out. Ah! Forgot that my weapon broke. Uh, Why don't we equip this uh, poopy dagger? Let's use that. I want to save the good weapons for good occasions. And uh, I'll leave the rope behind for now. Even though I need rope, this ain't the trip. This ain't the field trip to be collecting rope, you feel? Oh my God, that thing attacks so fast. Holy brother. That's crazy. I might need to put the, that what I've just picked up away. Because again, we got bigger fish to fry. That's a little bit of food. I'll pick up the food for now. Goodbye to the wood. I'm sorry, wood, but you're not very good. Compared to the counterparts. It's scattered around these parts. What about you, Mr. Baggy Boo? We got some all right resources there. A little bit of water. I'll drink up. Actually, I could pick up some of that water. We got like eight over there. I, I might even ditch the water too. If push comes to shove. I don't really know that that's like the most valuable thing for us to be picking up. Just water. I think we can like ultimately just refresh that at our own base. What is this? Mushroom soup. Damage increase? No way. I drink soup and my damage increases. See ya, water. I got soup. No soup for you. No soup for me, baby. Soup for me. Hmm. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the way my inventory is shaping up. I think we still have like these two chests up here. We still got a few chests up here to loot up. And then the carnage should be donezo. And it's just, uh, it's a, ooh, hello. Hello, jerky, 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 some quality food. That it is. Good boy to the raw food. Hello to the processed food. I was, you can't go wrong with jerky. Honestly, I'm craving jerky now. Just because I started bringing up jerky, I want jerky. Give me the jerky. Oh, what is this, a hand? Look at that, that's not a staff, that's a hand on a stick. I'm in. <laughs> what, what do I gotta do to get this hand on a stick? Uh... Well, actually, uh, 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 yeah, me. Can I find some pants, please? Some pants would be nice. So I can put that on my pants, on my legs. Ooh, let's go, dude. More of those bad lags. Is dude, we went from two to seven. Let's do 50 damage a pop. Hard to go wrong with that. Yeah, now then. Back to the staff, though. What to get rid of? I'm not getting rid of shovel, dude. I can dig up some stuff with that. Uh,. Do I eat the meat or do I eat the jerky? The jerky appears to heal more and provide more food than its meaty counterpart. So I'm sorry, meat. But you must go. And hello to the hand stiff. <laughs> but with that, I do believe the entirety of this location has been looted up. Minus maybe some of these dead bodies. But for the most part, those just have rope. So without further ado, it's time for us to exit stage. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not exiting stage left. We got a chest. We're exiting stage chest. And we got, ooh, resin. Is resin good? Honestly, you know what I might do? I'm sorry, rusty knife. Goodbye to you, hello to the resin. Meat, I'd love to take you home with me. But I'm just gonna eat you up right now. I'm gonna gobble you up. Okay, we already looted that. So I think we got every chest. If not, I mean, we already have so much loot in our inventory. I don't even know if we would have been able to like grab much else. So let's just go and take a few swigs, Roy. Eh! And all right, let's exit stage left. And then we can make our way over. What is this? The Traveler's Pack. Ooh, very interesting game. As tempting as that is, it could double our backpack capacity and give us a pretty cool little master crossbow. I am going to need to decline for the time being. I'm doing rather okay at the moment. Although that backpack is probably going to be one of my top priorities. I want to work my way up to that ASAP. I, it should probably be craftable. It looks like it's going to be a while until it's craftable, actually. Wow. The large sack. We don't get that till district level 44. And it looks like crafting it isn't too crazy. Like leather, leather strips, thick fabric. Those three seem like they won't be too hard. I don't know what the forged fasteners are going to take or how hard those are going to be defined. But that other stuff, I think... We should be able to handle. Now let's go to Nuheim. 
We got some building to do, bruvs. Our frostborn village will become a frostborn town. Slowly. But surely. And my name's not Shirley. Star. <laughs> Dude, I am literally so close to getting level 7 and finally being able to talk to that guy. But the last, not yet. Let's build that up. The bank, baby. An additional box is available. <gasps> Founder statue unlocks an event for the district's guests. What? An event? I'm interested also. Hello, Banky Bank. What incarnation do I do here? I can just put something in here? I have one slot to store. What is the... Do I get, like, interest on this thing? Is the bank just, like, a random storage? Is this just... I mean... I don't really know what to put away. What's, what's very valuable? What do I love? I will give it to you. Ah. Uh, my shoe. This is a very nice shoe. My father gave it to me. Just kidding, I found it in a wreck. Some, it was someone's father's. And, uh... I entrust you, Mr. Bankman, to have it. So, that it just appears to be some very low-capacity storage. Interestingly enough. Do you have anything? When we're settled here, we'll sail to England. Okay, so not yet. Yeah, let's get that thing built up. I think that's next up. <laughs> and now that we have arrived back at our marvelous camp, we have to build up the smelter. Do I even have what they require to build smelter? No. We need to go out on that adventure. I, I remember we got sidetracked by all of this incredible stuff that we were finding. We got plenty of planks, though. We, made, we did a great job processing all this, and the planks will come in handy. I actually think that they might be in handy right now if we wanted to, for example, upgrade those 20 planks, 10 rocks, and level 2 walls will be good. They are harder to break into, but still pretty possible to break into, so I don't know how much of a help they'll be, but they'll be somewhat of a help. Uh, anyways, we'll keep the wood and the stone into there. There's no wood and stone here for me to, like, transfer and stack, no. So let's take this opportunity to go down into the dungeon. And uh, see what we can stash away into there. And then I'll probably have some leftover inventory room. So it might be a good idea for us to invest into more chests. And all the stuff that we are hoarding in large quantities. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I'll give you my shovel. I'll give you... Oh, this battle axe, dude. This battle axe and that thing. Definitely want those two things to be put away. The hand pokey staff. Also kind of cool, but that will stay for now. That I can bring topside. That I can put away. We got another chest. That I can put away as well. And... Bada boom, bada bang. We should be able to put the rest of this, some of this stuff upstairs. Pants! Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not believe it. I'm fully clothed! Today is a magnificent day in the history of magnificent days. Some might say the most magnificent of magnificent days. Some might say an averagely magnificent of the magnificent days. But definitely not the least magnificent of magnificent days. No, 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 no. Truly today. Well, it's magnificent. That's all that can be said. Let's pop down another chest. And let's uh, put away some of this food. And maybe I'll even end up putting away some of my armor. Because for now, the naked man will continue doing naked things. Because I don't really need armor yet. I'd rather not mess up my good armor. I, I, I probably want to save that for when we start getting into trouble. And I ain't in trouble at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. We got plenty of stone, by the way. So I think the only thing we're going to be missing to get our smelter is going to be actually never mind we i have enough iron ore crikey we might be good to do this magnificent i have way more than enough iron ore le -le 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 -le. sorry that, that was my incredibly terrifying battle cry i know i probably terrified some of y'all what can i say you probably don't want to be facing me in the battle maybe potentially terrifying for you but uh what we're gonna go ahead and do Make our way. First things first. I want to see what this fella needs for our next district upgrade. What you need, what you need, son. Processed iron. Well, well, well. I'm happy to break to you that that is soon going to be possibility. Let's get the stone. Let's get the planks. Boop. Boop. And let's say hello to our brand new friend available to us to schmelt however we so choose i'll go ahead and leave it outside why not hopefully i don't get raided already that'd be bad 
And now they want us to build a bank in the district. Brother, I just built a bank. Did I build it too early? Am I going to get yelled at here? What a tarnation is this about? And uh, let's start processing some of that stuff there. I built the bank, brother. What do you mean? It's built. Did I just glitch the game by building something too early? That'd be upsetting. Wow, I just get so eager and happy to build something and everything falls apart. Also, I'll go ahead and leave my pine planks in there. Let's process, you know, pine planks are okay fuel. I'd like to process as much of this as possible. As much of iron as we could get. And take things from there. Oh my god, oh, they want me to build five walls here in our camp. I don't want to do the tournament yet. They want five walls in the camp. I already built the bank, dude. What's it take to build walls? One wood. I'm running a little bit low on wood, so I'm going to get more of that. And really quick, I just want to check that, like, the game realizes I built a bank here. <laughs> hey, beautiful. I just had to pop into the location. Okay, okay, okay. Now it says load the cart with the necessary resources to get the founder statue. I will work on that founder statue in no time at all. No time whatsoever. But for now, I got to go and build up five walls. I got to collect some wood. Actually, do I have a uh, wood to collect from any of this stuff? Is there wood? No wood? No wood. That's okay. We'll work our way towards it. But with that said, with that note, I think that's actually a pretty perfect point for us to go ahead and start ending off this episode of Frostborn. As our base and village building journey continues and we start adventuring into more dangerous locations. I, I, I imagine the PvP location is within our future. Pretty soon, hopefully when we return, we'll have some more tax money, money, money coming our way. And, uh, well, hopefully the more that we expand our village, we'll get some more tax revenue as well. And then we can start using that to trade with the trader. And hopefully he starts bringing some better stuff. Because that's pretty cool that we're literally able to just buy stuff using money that we get every day. I really like that system. And we get more money by upgrading our district. Kind of cool. Anyways, I digress. That's going to start wrapping it up. Follow me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.